Collins. And speaking of this key issue, joining us now for the first time on the Kudlow Report, we welcome Washington Republican Congresswoman Kathy McMorris Rogers. She is vice chair of the House Republican Conference. She was the first member of Congress to publicly oppose using U.S. taxpayer dollars for a Greek bailout. Congresswoman, welcome to the Cudler Report. Look, I just don't get this. You know, it's funny. There's $160 billion bailout being bandied about. We don't know how much, how much of it's going to be IMF, but you can be sure a good chunk of it is. How is it possible that you and the rest of American taxpayers can stop this U.S. bailout of Greece and who knows who else? Well, bottom line, I think America doesn't want any more bailouts. And at a time when we're facing... We continue to face the worst economic crisis in decades. 15 million Americans are looking for work, and we're running these record deficits and debt here in America. It's, we can't afford to be bailing out Greece. And what is happening at the IMF is that uh, the European Union is negotiating this plan that would include, including the IMF funds to help bail out Greece. They're talking about a $20 billion portion right now that would be IMF funding. But as you said, IMF is largely funded by the United States. And what we have done, what uh, Co Chairman Mike Pence, Congressman Mike Pence and I have done, is written a letter to Secretary Geithner to letting him know that we oppose this and calling on the Obama administration to oppose this at the IMF. It's our understanding that if the Obama administration finds one other country to join us, we could stop this IMF deal. Ms. Rogers, let me ask you this. Um, okay, you got to go through the Treasury Department. Will this ultimately come to a vote on the floor of the House and the Senate? Well, we're, we're just starting right now to increase awareness. We've written this letter. We're, we're making uh, the, the request of the Obama administration, and we're going to try to educate Americans all across this country that it is possible to stop this deal. And part of our concern is that even yesterday, it came out with the, the German parliamentarian, after he had met, met with the Greeks, that it could very well be more than $20 billion, that we could be talking $150 billion, $200 billion. And if we... If if we bail out Greece, then are we just going to be asked to bail out Spain and Portugal? Where does it end? And when do these countries have to start taking responsibility, tightening their belts, and maybe changing some of their generous social programs that they have offered throughout the years? Well, I want to get to that crazy European entitlement state, which is completely broken down. But I do want to add this to the mix. Now, as you know, we don't know what the real numbers are. There's 150, 160 billion in total that's being bandied about. We don't know how much the European Union will pay. We don't know how much the uh, IMF is going to be asked to pay, hence American taxpayers. But did you know that of the debt held by the Greek banks, I'm just going to use the Greek banks, it's the French banks who own 25% of it, the Swiss banks who own 20%, and the uh, German banks who own 15%. So if you look at this as it is, we will be bailing out not only Greece and its crazy social welfare entitlement state, which has gone bankrupt, but we will be bailing out French, Swiss, and German banks. Now, it seems to me, as we finally pay down the tarp of bailing out American banks, which is about the most unpopular thing in this country, why do we want to embark on a bailout of these international banks in Europe? Why? I don't believe we do. Uh, all across this country, Americans have had to tighten their belts. We have states that are running these huge deficits, having to make very difficult decisions. Um, small businesses, businesses have been laying off people, having to make very difficult decisions. And I don't believe America is interested in bailing out European countries that have made certain decisions that led to the situation where they are today. All right, or for that matter, European banks. Now, you have noted in your letter with uh, Mike Pence to Mr. Geithner, uh, the Greece uh, debt is about, uh, what, 115, 120 yes. percent of GDP. But right. the U.S. debt is growing in the same way. And I just want to ask you, what's the lesson here? I mean, well. don't uh, this big government spending, these chickens come home to roost. Amen. I mean, isn't there a lesson? I hate to just leave this as Greece or Europe. We yes. got the USA. We got California. We got Illinois. We got New York. I mean, isn't there a homegrown lesson here oh. as well? We don't want to bail out that either. Yo, you're, you're absolutely right. Uh, that we're not that far behind. You, you mentioned Greece's numbers. 
We're on a track to have a minimum trillion dollar deficit every year for the next 10 years. At the end of this 10 year period, our debt would be 90% of our GDP. We're not that far behind. And it, and it only highlights even more that we need to be taking action now in America to get our fiscal house in order, bring some accountability to Congress, and start tightening our belts here at home. All right, House Member Kathy McMorris Rogers, we appreciate it. I wish you all best of luck on your crusade. Nothing is more important right now. All right, let us continue.